All right, friends. Uh, this is uh, Super Slut Bubbles Spank Me sixty nine for this. Is, we're playing Victoria two, and what we're gonna be doing since you uh, hopefully you watched my last series as a rack and uh, got destroyed, completely booty blasted. Uh, this game I'm gonna play an easier nation, but not a super easy one. I'm gonna play Muscovy. <clears throat> now, why is it easier? Well, as you can see. Iraq starts at 99th in the world, 99th nation in the world, right? When you combine their prestige, industry, and military power. Muscovy, on the other hand, is 10th, right? Now, it's a good middle ground because uh, the great powers are the top eight, right? So, Muscovy is not in the top eight, but they're not too far out. So, I could easily make my way into the top eight fairly quickly. Um... And at the same time, I'm going to have to work at it, right? There's, it's not like, it's not going to be a piece of cake, all right? I'm landlocked to start off, um, and, you know, I'm not the, I'm not the, Ru I'm not Russia yet, right? But I think you can form Russia with Muscovy, so that's what I'm going to try to do, and I'm going to build an incredible army. I'm, again, going to shoot to be an incredible land power and dominate mainland, mainland Europe with it, um, which generally, I kind of want to learn more about being a naval power, but maybe we'll get to that. Maybe we'll get to being a naval power once we take over a lot of coastal tiles. Maybe we'll be able to build Maybe I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay? But we're going to start with Muscovy. Here we go. Whew, man. I'm so excited. Whew. Okay. So here's our land. Um, first, let's look at production. We have zero. We have nothing. We are not... We do not have any factories. We're going to pump up the jams. Everything. Everything goes to 100%. All taxes go to 100%. All tariffs go to 100%. As I said in the other game, uh, just having 100% taxes does not mean we're taxing everybody at 100% of their income. Where our effective tax rate is actually only 20%. So even at 100% taxing, we're only actually taxing 100, uh, 20%. With tariffs, it's the same sort of thing, 100%, but actually we're only effectively taxing 27.7%. Um, and then all these are things that I want to spend money on. This is all spending, right? So I want to spend as much money as I can on the military, the Navy, and just surplus supplies, uh, even not in wartime right now, just for now. Education, administration, social spending, we don't have any, but we're going to get there. Military spending, I want to be top, I want to be able to get more people to want to be officers and soldiers because I want to have an unstoppable military. Let's go to technology. Alright, so we have more technology than we did as Iraq, but it's still not that good. So we don't need to get that research one. We do need this rights of man, I think. I think that's something that's really important. But we could get medicine as well. I'm thinking rights of man first. No, let's go with medicine first. Supply limit. We need more supply. That's what we need. Uh, choose a trade policy. I don't know about this. I don't know how to do this. Uh, no, we want this one. Yeah. I don't know bonuses. Okay. Uh, so that's that. Population. Here we go. 4.7 million people. And we need 2% intellectuals in all these places. Because our literacy rate is only 16.6%. Uh, we need to get that up so that we can research faster. And to do so, to optimize, we need to get intellectuals in every state to be 2%. So I'm going to encourage intellectuals in every state. Which I only have one. Hmm. I'm going to go write some man. We need the... Ah, no. Yeah, we need it. We need it. We need it. Okay. Uh, because I want to get more intellectuals so I can research faster. Trade doesn't really matter right now. Diplomacy. Boy, oh boy. Can you imagine if we were able to get the dual monarchy on our side in this campaign? Could you imagine? Could you? Could you imagine that? And military. Here we go. So what units do we have right now? So much calf. Why do we have so much calf? Okay. 
let's see. All right, let's um. So, like I said in the other game, it's one cav. For an optimal 30 stack, you need one cav, four infantry. Mm, am I going to have to delete a lot of stuff? Four infantry and uh, five cannon. And I want to start a war with Crimea. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to go to war with the Ottomans. Crap. I'm gonna have to go to war with the Ottomans for Crimea. Hmm. Nah, because the Ottomans are gonna fall apart. That's the thing. The Ottomans are going to fall apart. We have no guy horde. Can I just conquer them? No, I can't. Alright, in this campaign, I want to play it a little slow just because we all know what happened last campaign. Um. Right, let's see what let's see what our units look like. I don't want to delete any troops yet. So I need three cannons for that unit. One, two, three. All right. So we need three cannons for that unit. And let's have everybody meet in Moscow. This is where you make rally points. Let's have everybody meet in Moscow. So I can get that to be a 30, 30 sack. Um, so many cats. Okay. So I need five cannons. One infantry. One, two, three, four, five. And one infantry. Alright. And that'll take us practically to our limit. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have all the cab in that unit. And let's start. Let's see here. How is that being built? Slowly but surely. Okay. There's no karma surely. Okay. And we're getting plenty of income, so that's good. So I can start building factories already. No, I can't. I can't build factories because of my political organization. Uh, protectionism, free trade, free trade, protectionism. Hmm. Well, guess who is getting put in? Boyers. Bam. Thank you very much. Okay, all right. Where do we need? Where do we need a factory? Moscow. Now, what does Moscow create? Timber. Timber and coal. Oh wait. This is Moscow. Yeah, timber and coal. Okay. In Moscow, I want to build. Oh, we have so many to choose from. Nice. Timber and coal. So obviously there's got to be a sawmill. This is what we got to build. Definitely. That's the first thing. Second thing, we got coal. So I want to make bottle works there. So glass factory would be excellent. Assimilation, yeah, begin assimilation, yeah, why not? Um, and while I'm looking at the RGO I put, I need to know where else is coal. Is that mine? No, it's not. It's Ukrainian. Oh, look at all this coal. Holy smokes, I need to justify a war on them. can't do that to them right now. Uh, I was thinking about attacking Novgorod right off the bat, but Scandinavia is going to defend immediately. Um, let's see here. Moldavia. They want an alliance. No, I don't think so, man. 
What do I want? I want an alliance with the dual monarchy. How close are they? Not really. How in the F am I going to get them to ally me? Jeez, I don't know. Get rid. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of one cavalry in it just because. Uh, that'll give more room for me to make more cannons. Heck yes, so many cannons are being made. This is great. This is really good. Cool. Oh. Good night. Nice. This is great. All right. More cannons. What happened to my infantry? What happened to my cavalry in this one? Putting this army in there. Uh, sorry for not talking very much uh, right there. I'm putting this army over here in Belgrade, and I want to put another army here because Crimea is on the list. They are absolutely on my list. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and start justifying right now because they are falling now. And they're going to continue to fall. That's the thing. They're going to they're gonna fall. So I want to have a war ready to go for when they do. No thank you Novgorod, I do not want to give you rights to walk through my land. Is, it, is this too much of a dream to have the frickin' dual monarchy on my side? Is that too much of a dream? Maybe Bohemia. Would Bohemia want to join? Ally me ever? I don't know. I have no idea. It must be too much of a dream. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. All right. So these guys should fall. I'm I'm imagining they're at war with three countries. They should fall. I need more intellectuals really bad. Okay, got the, the war. Uh, should I do this right now? I have 22 brigades. They got 12. And the Safavids got 10. Sublimes got 20. But they're at war with a bunch of different people. I think I could just sneak in and take this land. This is not... This is not... Um, it's funny because I said I was going to play this very relaxed, but there's a lot of coal here. So I think I'm going to attack right now. And I want Luke on So. 
We'll see if anybody joins. Anybody else joins? Okay, they did. All right, grab. It. I'm gonna mobilize. Here we go. And actually, I want the mobilization to happen and come to Kursk. That's what I want. I am attacking again. Oh, and I'm going to crush them. Alright, so this is going really well. I did not think it would. And I need to build more factories, too. I got a lot of money. I got a lot of money. Okay, so. Uh, let's see here. I got a lot of timber. So, let's actually look at all. RGO output, okay. Let's look at all the different regions that create a lot of timber. Bryansk. Uh, here we go. Let's make another lumber mill there. Or sawmill or whatever. Bryansk. Uh, RGO output. A lot of timber up here. What's this called? Trier. Muscovite Trier, whatever the heck that is, sawmill. Uh, where'd you want to put? There's more wood in there. What's this called? Smolensk. Factories in the early game aren't super effective, but they will make up for themselves. It's like a, it's an investment. It's a very easy investment, honestly. What's in Kazan? Oh, more wood. But also, this. Okay. Uh, where's Kazan? Now, what is necessary for a cannery? Cattle. I do want a cannery. I want canneries, because that'll help me make more uh, soldiers. This is in which region? Smolensk. Mm, I'm not going to build any more factories for now. I'm going to focus back on the war now. <clears throat> okay, they're going to get crushed. I need to work more on encirclements. Because I'm sure that I could be encircling these armies more effectively, I guess, than I am right now. I could definitely be encircling much better. Alright, I gotta cut this army off. If they keep coming over, I'm gonna crush them. Alright, they got 20. No, they got yeah, 20,000 troops. Get into these woods. That'd be great. Because they're right now in grassland, which is going to make this attack really devastating. This attack is going to be absolutely devastating if I actually hit them. If I get there, yes! Completely devastating. Good. 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 I mean. They got three brigades left. They can't they can't really put up a fight against me right now. And the Sublime Port, they I don't know where they are. But they're not gonna really be able to do much either. This going. Uh, 
This is going great. This war is uh, really going well. Uh, so with Crimea, I'm going to add another war goal. Uh, can it do? Hold on a second. So they are tied together. I wonder what would happen if I add demand concession. Boom. Okay, and then I'll, <clears throat> I'll add their capital as well and defeat them. Add pickers. And what I mean by that is once you conquer, once you take an entire province that you're fighting for, uh, then it adds what's known as a ticker. Ooh, here we go, he's coming in. It adds what's known as a ticker to the war, to the ongoing war. So like once I conquer all of this, uh, it'll add a percent ticker to the war, like how the war is going. And obviously my side is the orange side, so I want it to grow to a higher percentage um, until I have enough until I have enough to get past this little niche here. Then I can ask for peace against the bots, and uh, they'll probably give me peace. I got so many troops coming in. This is great. <clears throat> so this war is going excellently. I just might need to speed up the uh, the game a little bit, but I think for now it's good. I'm gonna move into there. These troops are just gonna be supporting each other on this border province. I think that if they're gonna send an army, it's gonna be coming from that way. And if it comes up, I want to be able to defend that easily. And then this army is going to hmm, go ahead and attack. Attack here. Okay, so Crimea River. If I add the Man Capital Province, that's only 11.3. 11.5, I mean. So it's not going to be that bad. So I'm going to do it. Oh no, it's going to be too much. Oh no. Um, what that means is, if this ticker is off the chart, then it's like, there's no way we're winning this, this war, basically. Basically, I'm going to be fighting this war. I mean, not in the sense, like, so I could win the war and take two pieces of land... But not all three. All three is going to be way too much, apparently. So, so that stinks. But not a big deal. Alright, so I'm going to leave these troops here. It's a bit of a waste. Oh. Okay. Yeah, sure, Polish, Lithuania. Later on, I'm going to destroy these guys. But that's okay. Oh, and I'm in the sphere of the Bohemians. Nice. That's good. That's really good, actually, because now I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna get resources that I can't get from uh, inside my nation from them. Basically, is what that means. All right, I have a loan. Let's repay that. Ooh, there's a lot of troops there. I don't want them uh, getting attrition, so I'm going to split this army, and this army is just going to stay there, and then this army is going to split as well. I go there, and there. 
And actually, you know what? Which armor was I sending down? Don't do that. Go here. You go all the way. And who was I sending? Who was I sending to? Uh, you don't go all the way down. Just stay there. All right, so I'm gonna win this war. It's mostly about, at this point, my main concern is I'm not gonna be able to take everything I want. But I want coal. I want a lot of coal. So maybe I just leave this province to be taken by Poland, Lithuania for now. But I take these provinces for me. Maybe that's what I do. That's probably what I'll do. So many troops. I can't take Crimea. Uh, eventually, shoot. Eventually, I'll be able to take Crimea, but not, not anytime soon. Holy crap, there's so many troops. Okay, now, if I can get, if I could get through here, so I wonder if they'll give me military access, that would probably be the easiest, that would probably be the easiest thing, is if they give me military access, I'll just flood through, that would probably be the best option, uh, military access, they will. Um, before I do that, let's see if I can just end this war. No? Okay. Hmm. Alright, this is what I want. We're good. We are good. Thank you. <laughs> and 
and we're in proceed. <laughs> okay. We did it. We did it, boys. Now, uh, we these are colonial provinces, but they will build up, and that's a thing. Uh, no guy horde. What the heck happened to you? Novgorod. That's what happened to you. I didn't even notice that. Dang. All right, let's see here. Just for war. I can't just conquest them, which stinks. What's their RGO output? Nothing important. Okay. This has so much coal. It's all coal. And this has coal. God, I hope that uh, I'm able to actually, like, utilize this. All right. One of you guys. Go there. The other one, you probably should go up there. Nah, I don't want them to have access. They're ally they're at war with Crimea. Hmm. Man, these guys are really in port. Oh man, Hungary's kicking the crap out of them too. That's great for me, long term. I want this Crimean I want Crimea. Uh I want to also attack Novgorod. I don't foresee that happening anytime soon. Uh, how's the intellectuals coming here? One percent? Easy peasy, man. Okay, whatever. I don't know why they stopped, but that's okay. Uh, okay. So I'm building one army. Now I should build more cannons. Then I need to look here. Where are craftsmen needed? Our craftsmen are. Where's Kursk? Where the heck's Kursk? Alright. So that war was great. Now I need. Now I need. Where is Kursk? Here's Kursk. Okay, what's in Kursk? Kursk just has crops. Okay. I don't have the money. What, you think money grows on trees, huh? I need a lot more money. Now I'm gaining money. Okay. Um, what's the next thing I need? Medicine. That's what I need. Now that I'm gaining money, I need to repay loans. Uh, what was I going to do? Yes, I need to increase intellectuals and in everywhere, pretty much. Intervene immediately. Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. So I need, I need to build up intellectuals. I need to research. I need to do a lot of things. But actually, this video is going on for a long time, and I'm gonna take a break. I'll be back shortly, probably, maybe. I don't know. Uh, either way, eat my butt. Here we go. See you later.